Good evening everyone, just uh, going through the Anosta rig that I've done up. Uh, I've done the, the standard, well, a variation of the standard to show a couple of options with it. Uh, so in this one, you have the standard choices uh, line at the top. You can either have one hook running off with a star sinker at the bottom or you can choose to have two or three uh, attachments to uh, f with either same hooks different hooks um, depending on what your choice and what your preference and what you're trying to target and what the situation is now how i've rigged these up is at the top i always like to put a clip because when i fish uh, every rod of mine at the very end of uh, when I tie my uh, braid onto my fluorocarbon leader, I put a figure eight at the top so that every rig is always ready to go and I grab out whichever one I'm ready to use and I just clip it on and that's so it's always ready to go. So that's why there's a clip at the top. Now you have two choices really when it comes to having your offshoots to this rig. You can either use uh, the dropper loop, which is what this one here is, where all you do is you create a nice little loop like this, and you can either directly attach, in this case I've directly attached, when they stop sticking onto the floor, directly attached a set of gang hooks to this. So at the very top there's a set of gang hooks that's linked onto that one via a simple clip, and it's by tied on. Or further down in this one, you can choose to use um, your swivels, like the three-way swivel hooks. Uh, sorry, three-way swivels. Um, I my preference is uh, generally the the dropper loop for reasons both being that you don't have to tie as many knots because you obviously got to tie three three knots. Um, for this to work out. Uh, so down the bottom, at uh, the very bottom of this three-way hoop is the star sinker. It's quite heavy. I've got the bit real big, I think size four on here at the moment. And what I've done is I've tied it onto what they call these um, fast attachers. Essentially they look like they look like that. You tie your end onto here and you can twist on uh, whatever you need. Now I could put the, you put these at the bottom, I put these at the bottom of my uh, rigs. That way, if, like for my example, my other one that I, I would use and chop and change, I might choose to stick at the bottom, you know, a lure for weight, uh, a different size or different type of sinker, like a breakaway sinker. If it's rocky and I'm worried about getting stuck, or if I need to change star sinkers to something smaller because it's not doesn't need that same sort of weight, you've got the option to just twist them on and twist them off and change them out depending upon the the situation the needs that call for it. So when it's I just untangle these gang hooks. I hate the gang hooks. They always get tangled up if they're not all all correctly um, clicked on properly. But when it's all displayed, and I'll just undo this a little bit. I had this, I was recording before and then I messed it up. So I was moving these around a lot and I tangled them. Uh, but essentially, it's pretty simple. Down the bottom, big heavy sinker. Then you have a free swinging hook this size. I have clipped it on to the uh, three-way swivel. This enables, like I have multiple hooks that are done up of different sizes, so that if I'm targeting different species, I can simply change to a to a smaller hook. Uh, so if I wanted to go for, well, that, that's not too bad, I think that's a size two, that one. Uh, so if I wanted to go for something smaller, I can do that, or something longer, you know, the options are there. If I wanted to make both of these single hooks, so if I didn't want to gang at the top, I can just simply swap them around if I really wanted to. Um, that's essentially what a double uh, Peternoster 
it looks like you can do a single where it's just one but and you can do up to three i've seen three um obviously three means a lot more and more chances of tangles but as long as you're you've got these swivels on it tries and the lengths as you can see the length of the red hook doesn't go past my sinker at the bottom so it should hang off to the side and they shouldn't get tangled up and this one when you stretch it out can't see it because of the camera but when you stretch it out it doesn't actually go past this end point so it stays above the bottom line and that's how you want to try and keep them like that okay um, and on my um, clips and so forth and swivels I like to use um, yeah, I forgot the name of the knot uh, I'll come to me in a minute but anyway um, because uh, it seems it's a really nice neat knot very tight it's where you feed it through as a loop and loop back and pull it in on itself and for life me can't remember it now this is one of my own sort of designs like that I like to use um, so this here is actually a float uh, a tiny float so, so if you wanted to help keep the weight or the or the, the uh, the rig slightly off the bottom this does one do that two has all the bright tassels hanging off an attractive looking looks like a bit of a fish head um, and with the currents this is all moving very attractive to a fish and you'll find that Taylor sometimes will actually go for this over over your bait and in there is a nice hook to get him stuck on and that'll go up into the top of the rig and it can move up and down the line Obviously, when it's sitting in the water, it'll go towards the top, though, um, because of the way that goes the weight of the water. And the first rig I have further down, I used, because this is the one that I, use, I prefer, I prefer using dropper loops. And off this one, I've simply done a simple soft plastic. Um, and this one's just got a simple head on it with a um, paddle tail. But... Uh, this these are simple chop and changes so if this isn't working you might chuck in different size hook with um, these ones that have got little flashes on them so extra attention for the fish I might then change up and go for a, a curly tail uh, soft plastic if I think perhaps that's a little bit more interesting because sometimes they bite these and they don't bite these and anything that's flashy and uh, smells good is uh, something that's going to entice the fish and then further down from here i've got another dropper loop now on this one i simply just have um a nice little flashy hook where you don't you don't put any bait or anything on this sort of thing it just tassels much like the top one and as it moves along in the water it looks a bit like bait fish and the reason why also i like the dropper loops is that uh, when you can you want to chop and change say I wanted to put on I've got um, free swinging hooks like this by themselves so with more tassels though it'll be like that one if I want to change the small smaller free hanging hooks um, with these all you need to do is simply undo the dropper loop and this can just come off altogether so you can actually take this off um, and, hold on what it is there you go you can just take it off it's that simple and then you can put on something different and down the bottom same situation i have the little fastener so i can either put a sinker on here or i can put use i would use this out of this has been done up so i can attach it straight onto my line but this um work these one where it has a 60 gram weight tassels two free swinging hooks a little place a little metal thread there to um, thread on a soft plastic so you have the smell you have the flash you have the noise um, and the disturbance to attract the fish and it gives you the weight at the bottom that a star sinker would so you get the casting distance so you can uh, I can simply clip this onto the bottom if I wanted to and run the whole thing out like that or if I wanted to, I can change this to a different one. Um, I can put a, oops, my little got stuck. 
I'll put a little lure down the bottom if I wanted to make it more of a slow retrieve or a jigging lure that's a bit heavier slow retrieve on it or leave it out I could even use things like uh, this Nomad uh, Vertex style uh, products where you can just simply I just thread that on heavy weight on the end and um, looks a bit fish like and you could leave that sitting around floating along the bottom gives you weight to throw it out um, but gives you a broad range of options uh, for the fish so that's the main thing is that it gives you the capabilities to tailor your kit to different species whether you want to bait fish you can go for the hooks um, but you can clip them on and change them out to different sizes depending on what's going on um, you can add in your float if you're thinking I need to get off the bottom you can change your star sinker if you think it's too heavy or the conditions are, aren't, aren't, don't need you to cast as far or if it's rocky you can change out to the breakaways um, so it gives you a great deal of, of capability to uh, modify your equipment so that you give the best chance of catching something because you're bound to find some fish out there that is going to like something on offering that we've got on the table you know whether it's bait soft plastics flashes lures um, mimics uh, all sorts so there's a great deal of option out there even these new oops, stuck onto the shell even these new lures that uh, just come up that uh, look like a normal lure but they have a little squiddy attached with the two free swinging hooks on them um, is a new style of lure that I've just seen popping up so you could even stick that on the end to cut for your cast weight and um, just to have this moving with the current at the bottom and then holding it off the top slightly with the with the um, with your float might even attract some fish going after something like that uh, and you can then add on some scent to, to attract the, the smell as well so plenty of options so those are two what's well, an example of the two main types my preference is to use the dropper loops where possible if you can um, only because if you're tying multiples of these like if you've got two of them it's a lot of uh, extra tying a lot more of uh, the metal that's going around a lot more knots that can fail um, and especially if you're using uh, swivels or clips to clip onto your dropper loops there's really no need to have them there because the uh, uh, it'll stay the swivels will keep it in place and stop it moving around abnormally anyway so that, that that would be my preference but then you can customize them to what to whatever specifications you go this is what i want to target uh, i'd like one with these and this i'd like one with the, the star sinker big one and a couple of small options i want one with a couple of just plain hooks or i want one with um gangs um and i want a combination of a dropper loop and a and a uh, three-way swivel as well so it gives you the capabilities to move things around or you can you know say so I'll get both and, and try them out so it gives you some options but that's that's that rig um, <laughs> two different stuff rigs but that's the rig in general with the three or four variations on it um, and I'll do a separate video on some of the the knot tying and how I've tied all these together so um you know you've got uh if you wanted to do them yourself you know how to tie all the knots properly if, if you're not that that good with tying the knots which ones to use for what so i use a different knot when i'm tying this as to when i'm tying um my clips and so forth i use different ones because it's just easier and holds better uh so that's pretty much it hopefully that covers a little bit to do with these this this uh the panel knot the rig and the variations on it and what well, and all the different stuff you can actually do with them they are fantastic versatile rigs and hopefully that was helpful um before i finish we i'll do uh following rigs up over the next coming days i'll do another one um probably the fish feeder next because that's got a couple of variations in as well so that, that's the next one video that'll be coming out after this one so that's what's coming up next
Anyway, that's enough for tonight, and thank you for bearing with me.